Hello. I wonder what we'll have today in the questions. This is from, must be anonymous because I don't have a, a name. Um, this person writes, I have suffered from anorexia for almost 11 years. Two years ago, following a prolonged spell of being quite underweight, I decided to start recovery and I'm now BMI of a rat in a healthy BMI. I'll just say that. I've done this with the help of a dietitian. I would say that has been done in an eating disordered way. So food rules, calorie counting, restrictive eating, etc. I'm maintaining my weight, but I still feel very anorexic in my mindset and I don't really know what to do. I feel scared that I've gained all this weight for nothing to show for it other than being a healthier weight. Any advice or words of wisdom would be appreciated. So, well, Anonymous, you, you've sort of spelled it out yourself there. You've gained, your, you've gained weight, but you've been doing it in a disordered way. So you've still had all the food rules and things. So therefore, you haven't done the rewiring. Um, and that's the rewiring is super important if you want to make full recovery. It's, that's why I wrote a book called rehabilitate rewire recover because like you've got the nutritional rehabilitation which sounds like you've done some of brilliant well done but the neural rewiring nutritional rehabilitation plus neural rewiring equals full recovery the neural rewiring is important because why would your behaviors change and why would your thoughts change if you don't stop doing them of course they're going to continue to be <laughs> so one of the good, the good news is, is that with a degree of nutritional rehabilitation, for most people, the neural rewiring becomes somewhat easier, a little bit. Um, and so you've got that in your favour. For goodness sake, please do not do that silly thing that just about everybody who nutritionally rehabilitates before they rewire does, which is this thing of saying, oh, well, I need to go back and lose more weight so then I feel that I can start all of this all over again and do the rewiring as I rehabilitate. No, 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 no. Don't do that, anyone. It's dumb. It's really stupid. It's a bit, uh, yeah, anyway, so I know it is really stupid, but it is very what anorexia would say to do, isn't it? I would have said, my brain would have said the same thing. So I'm not saying any of you are stupid. I'm just saying, think about it logically. Come out of your eating disorder brain. Think about it logically. That's like saying, well, I've gone 10, ten steps forward and I've got another 10 steps to go. But the best way to get the whole 20 steps right is to go 10 steps backwards again. No. Think about it more like, you're halfway, baby, keep going. So, you are halfway probably ish now you've got to do the rewiring bit so you've got to change all of those food rules some of that you mentioned calorie counting restrictive eating got to stop got to go and consistently have got to go as well um you know what they are i'm not going to completely go into how to rewire everything right now but what i am going to say is that when you detect a food rule it is so important that you do the exact opposite of what that rule is saying when you detect the desire to restrict even just a little bit, it is so important that you even eat more than you're even mentally hungry for, just to prove that you don't have to restrict. That sort of stuff. It's going against that. I know that you can do it. You've come this far. You've done nutritional rehabilitation. It's the hardest part, I think. You know, getting that kick started, actually getting yourself... I think the hardest part is getting yourself into a recovery mindset, and you've done that, so... You're halfway there. You've got the neural rewiring to do. Focus on that. And sounds like you're going to do just great. Bye.